on today's episode of Moto Cheese. The following movie is rated I. So I'm going to attempt to fix that speedometer pickup. I doubt I'll have any luck fixing that, but if it doesn't work, I'm going to order a new pickup. I also ordered a three pack of these foam filters see if it performs any better of course these you have to spray the filter oil on them to make them more efficient at collecting dirt because if you run it without a filter or without an adequate filter it's just like putting sandpaper on the rings in a cylinder wall in there it'll wipe the rings right out I will leave a link below and I have spray oil that I spray on this also, idiotic me, when I filled up that front tire, because I knew it was low, I pushed on the back tire on the knobbies, but this is, tire is so thick, I miscalculated how much air was in this back tire. There was only about 3 pounds of air, so I'm sure that was slowing me down, so I put in about 22. So we'll see what the top speed is GPS once I get all this done. Now generally, I don't like removing a stock air box, because... Even though these are called cold air filters or you get cold air filter kits, it's misleading because this being here will get more heat off the engine than this air box where the air intake is sucking through. This air box will draw colder air than this air pod filter will. A lot of people get that confused, but these should definitely flow more air. Let's see what we have to do to unbolt this air box. Now remember, I'm putting an AirPod filter on this fuel injected motor because I did a modification to the tune in my prior videos. You can go back and look. I even put the link for the tune that I put in here. So if you're just going to put a pod filter on without doing any kind of tune, it may run leaner. I'd imagine it would run leaner. Fuel injection is supposed to compensate for it. I don't know how much it will, but I've heard that it doesn't make much of a difference with a pod filter if you don't do a tune which we just discovered that there is a tune. The turn signal flasher, and maybe the diode for a signal. The starter solenoid is attached to that. Oh, is that all one unit? Oh boy, looks like it all has to come out. That's attached to the inner fender. Hmm. I guess that will fit, but I'm going to have to pull this piece out. Like that. Yeah. I almost feel like I'm better off leaving this box there. I'll block this hole off, because it's only touching here. It's got plenty of air around this. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Clean this up, put some tape over it, and then just put this on like that. Because I really don't want to have to make up all this, and it looks like it's part of the battery tray. And I'll save this piece. So I'm going to put all this back on, since I'm leaving the airbox now. Never tried this, but it might work. Stupid cheesy. Kind of. Sort of worked. Yeah, it worked quicker way to get the seat off anyway. Clean this up and put some Gorilla Tape over it. So it'll make a mouse house and it'll still allow the oil to go in there. Whatever bypasses when it's hot. Hey Gizmo. Watch up. That's the garage boss. Better than nothing. I'm gonna find my spray oil for this. I lubed it up with some regular oil I had because I can't find my filter oil. I'll order some of that. It's here somewhere, but I noticed this has a pre filter, which is that's kind of nice. For the price of these, you get three of them so cheap. I'll put a link for these. It's a little messy after you oil this, but you gotta have it. Now, when you change and put a pod filter on, it's definitely gonna make it louder. 
because you're going to hear the you're going to hear the throttle when you open it up. It's going to give it a meaner sound. Yeah, that works. As long as it fits behind this panel. Oh yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work fairly well even. Yeah, look at that. Fits right in there. It's got the perfect angle. The angle of the dangle. Yeah, I know. I didn't do my seat. That's all right. We'll save that for another video. All right, it's done. Let's take it for a test drive. So I finally changed my oil. That was way overdue. Pretty dark. Went over to bolts. These exhaust bolts were a little bit loose. Not terrible, but you know, I got probably half a turn or a turn out of them. Checked all the other bolts. You got to go over it every once in a while. It's the way it is. On any bike, you should do it. On these bikes, they vibrate a little more, so you got to do it a little more often, that's all. Everything's up to par. My speedometer sensor did not work, so I ordered a speedometer sensor that should be here in a few days. Mama wants cheesy bread. Mama gets cheesy bread. Hopefully, I can strap it on the back of there and give this a test drive. I did order a little clamp so I could put my phone up there, so I have nothing to gauge it with unless my speedometer miraculously starts working. Oh, I thought you left. I'm going to get Mama's cheesy breads. You know, it's like pizza, but just garlic bread with cheese on it. Is he in a window now? He's mad at me. Bow. Low end is definitely way better. I mean, with the air filter, might be a tad bit better. I'm just saying overall. Might be quicker. I right, order two cheesy breads. 904. Here. Hockey's back in Connecticut. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. Oh yeah, let me strap them on there. Wait a minute, they'll probably fit right in this bag. Derp a derp. Look at that. It'll be insulated and everything. Get some wifey points here. Hang on, cheesy breads. my lights on. Whoopsie. Come on. Oh boy. So the AirPod feels a little better on a higher RPM. We won't know until I get the speedometer, huh? Or my GPS mount. The next day. Got my phone holder. I left the other one down there. Got my pod filter on. Let's see what this does. GPS with more than three pounds of air in the back tire. Because my bad. I finally put some nuts behind that. So that's not going to fall off. Can't wait to get that pickup in to see how far off that original speedometer actually was. But that knobby did take a little bit of power away. I have to admit. I think I mentioned that when I put it on. Of course they do. A little downhill here. Now that's a little downhill. If I could do that on a flat, I'd be a happy cheese. I usually do to zero to 60 is from here. You ready? That was 64 on a flat though. I gotta do that over again. Thanks, Billy. There it is, 64. 
It's a record, 64 and a flat, and I maybe could have gone a little higher. It's about 85 here in Fahrenheit. Check my mail, I got a few packages. It might be that pickup magnetic sensor. A few moments later. You get like a little cat backpack and bring Gizmo on rides. Yeah, I know. You wanna go? Yeah? I would, if he didn't flip out. Well, you know he's gonna. Put the speedometer magnetic pickup sensor back on. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna, because I spun the tire and it didn't. Well, my speedometer's not working. Back to the drawing board, boys. I guess I broke my speedometer. I don't know what's up with my speedometer. I guess I should see if it's sending power down. I think when them wires were pinched the first time, my uh, perfect splicing job may have shorted out because I'm not getting a full 5 volts or 4.9 volts to feed that pickup to send it. So I tried injecting voltage to it and spun the wheel and I still couldn't get any speed. So I think I might have wrecked this. So I may end up getting that universal digital speedometer that I did down for the Raven down in Florida and hooking that up. And I already have my magnet sensor so I should be able to do that. Put one of these on a condor. Got a link below if you want one. I've tried a bunch of them. This seems to be my favorite. Easy to hook up, easy to transfer. It seems pretty safe. I don't think it will drop your phone. I guess I'll put my phone on. Ulysses speedometer. That's right, the hockey passed you. Don't forget, this is only 230 cc's. They call it a 250. But it's actually a 230. Uh, I'm always looking behind me. A car comes up that doesn't realize they have to stop. I'm taking off. I'm going around that truck and they can get it. That's right. Drive defensively. I lost my little cap. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe I'll see it when I review the video. <laughs> I knew I was going to lose that thing. Should have put a little string to the wire. He's got a good flat spot on that back tire. I don't know if you guys can see it. Must have locked him up. I hope someone don't come and run into it. Oh, maybe I'll lock it. It's high priced hawk here. <laughs> hope it unlocks. Be right back, Hockey. I bought these jumbo chicken and pork hot dogs from here, man. They're pretty good. They're not salty. They're pretty good. So I'm going to get a couple packages of those and some milk. Those are dented. These are really good. I was surprised. Better get three packages. Might be camping next. I better get four. <laughs> camping next weekend if I'm here. I can take one of six on five. How are you? Good, how you doing? Just throw in there. Thanks, have a good day. I know hot dogs aren't good for you, right? But being less salt and having chicken instead of beef should be a little better yeah those are dollar 45 a package how do you beat that that's crazy right you all laugh when i put this bag on the back who's laughing now might have some off-market deals waterfront John's daughter Melanie has a real estate agent license 
so she's been helping me try to find a place. It's good to have someone on the inside sometimes. No. See why you gotta watch everything? It's alright. That was Karen. You know Karen. She always has a right of way. And she'll tell you so. She'll make it perfectly clear. No. It's dangerous out here, boys. That's why I don't put my earbuds in and listen to music. I need zero distractions when I'm riding. Look at that little mower, man. That's pretty nice. I wonder how much I want for that. It'd be a little bit too far to haul that to Florida. I'm actually wondering if I can go up one tooth on the front. That it has that little bit extra grunt on a low and mid. It might help out. I might be able to get a little better top speed. I don't need it, though. I want to be able to go trail riding with this. That's more important to me than going fast. You know, opinions are like hiney holes. Everyone's got them. Most of them stink. I was thinking of taking a scenic route, but I got a gallon of milk in the back. Might be a bit too bumpy. I think that pod filter did help it out quite a bit. Well, you can see my top speed went up a few miles an hour. That was a perfectly flat road, too. Looks like I'll close this episode, and when the speedometer comes in, the universal one, I'll continue from there. And we'll never know if that speedometer was off or not. I'm 100% sure it's off, I just don't know how much. My milk and hot dogs made it home safely. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.